Hello, good evening, uh, my fellow netizens. The last, uh, I, the last time I downloaded something called, uh, uh, somebody was asking me when, you know, I was teaching on this, uh, what is it, Manglish and uh, Kelantanese dialect and the Nagari dialect and uh, whatever, Northern Kedah dialect and things like that. And uh, somebody asked me, they said that uh, I, they gathered that I studied English in Cambridge and uh, I actually, um, I, I studied up to PhD level, but sometimes I feel like I, I, you know, I feel like flushing down all my sets down the toilet because I, I don't think, I didn't think at that time that uh, the uh, learning proper English, I, I studied under what, what who's that, uh, Daniel Jones, uh, Professor Gimson, um, all from Cambridge, uh, Susan Ramsaran. Uh, I, I, I can't, I vaguely remember it. So, such a long time ago that I studied English phonetics, phonetics, you know. And uh, if, if you really want to know the difference between the so long and short vowel sounds, it's very simple. Just get a simple dictionary. Yeah, what, uh, what is it? Um, uh, Oxford, Oxford Dictionary, or you can get, in fact, most of the symbols, I'm talking about phonetic symbols, you know. Like Daniel Jones, when he wrote his book on received uh, pronunciation, that's where he introduced the received pronunciation to all the British schools. The British were speaking in so many dialects. They had the Cockney, they had the Welsh, they had the uh, uh, London, the, the Liverpool, what is that? The, uh, the, 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 the language that the Beatles spoke. <laughs> they all like uh, very... Uh, I, I know the Cockney was like uh, you know, a bit of... Be, uh, bu, uh, be, your be, uh, bu, bu, uh, that's where... That's what my sister's children spoke in the England near the, the, in, in in southern southern London that the cabbies the taxi drivers will will, will, will speak that way to you you go up and say a bit you give a bit, bit, bit more money uh, I'll be happy 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 there, there, there won't be any uh, aspirant sound there there won't be any happy I'll be happy but uh, I'm not going to teach you sorry I am not going to teach you London Cockney, oh dear, the closing the door shutters. Um, please bear with me. Eh? I'm not going to teach you any Cockney, Cockney accent, and, and things like that. I'm not going to teach you Liverpool accent. I'm not going to teach you Welsh accent uh, because I, I do know all these accents because I was I spent a lot of time in England and my my nieces and my nephews and my sisters all they have been like there for generations. First, second, third generation, fourth generation they've been there. And I've been in Malaysia, and many of my cousins are all around the world, okay? So I uh, just want to teach you something about the long and short of it. The long and short, or short of it is basically the long and short vowel sound. I left a space here, empty here, and the side here, because I just wanted to go through some of the words that I went through with you yesterday. There was words like, uh, for example, ban, ban, and ban, country, Country barn, they, you know, my friends say, hey, come, let's go to country, country barn and country barn. There, there's no difference. Actually, there is no difference between the first word there, bun and barn, okay? When you eat roti bun and you go to country barn, it's, it is no difference. But the British will make a difference, okay? Because look at the phonetic symbols. You can find the symbols in the... Uh, in the Oxford Dictionary, open any Oxford Dictionary, any Oxford that you had, go, go you, what are you studying in school, okay? Just go and look at your book, go and find your, your old books, your dictionary, and you will find that beside the word, uh, uh, B-U-N, B -U -N, you will find the, the B, V, V means, uh, it's a sound, it's a sound, bun. And of course, there's a, a with the two dots, you know, the, the, what do you call it, the colon, the colon, the colon dots, huh? The two colon dots means it's barn, okay? So when you say father, you will see F-A-R and you don't, uh, locals, my father, mother, mother, father, but actually it's my mother. Mother is that, the top sound, mother. But my father is a long sound, my father and my mother. My mother is closer to me, so my mother will be a short sound. And my father is, uh, you know your dad, I, they're not, 
Yeah, they, are, they, they, they do love you, but they, they, are, they are not, they are distant from you as far as cuddling is concerned and all that. So, my father and my mother. Okay, so that's the difference between uh, uh, what we pronounce and what we pronounce in Britain. Uh, uh, here, we will say, my mother, father, ah, here. so we, we, there's no difference. But the thing is that it's not wrong. Okay, Manglish is not wrong. I'm not running my Manglish down. I'm just telling my friends how you want to sound like British. You want to sound, but don't speak Cockney. Speak received pronunciation, RP. Okay, this was inculcated by a guy called Daniel Jones, Professor Daniel Jones, okay, of the Cambridge University. And he wrote a book. You can find the book. It's under A. It's actually written by uh, A.G. Jimson and uh, Susan Ramsaran. And, and uh, they all, uh, they, it, it is called a phon English Phonetic Dictionary. You can buy it. You can buy it off the shelves anywhere. You can buy it from any of the bookshops, or oh, you can order it from uh, whatever uh, you know. What is this? Uh, the 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 latest uh, Lazada, blah blah blah, blah whatever. Okay, so um, you'll find all this. For example, uh, the the second word, uh, con. Uh, I was I was telling you about uh, uh, con con cake con cake. Actually, the the the. The first word con is uh, is a guy who cheats you lah. I mean con man lah. con con. See you, you, the pronounce and the the symbolic symbol for for C the 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 hard C. There's a soft C and the for C the hard C is always represented by a K. Okay, and then he's got this this A that looks like it's inverted or something. And so it, that's a phonetic symbol. Okay, you'll find this phonetic symbol in your dictionary. You don't have to go to uh, A.G. Gimson's uh, or Professor Professor Daniel Jones' dictionary. Just go to any Oxford dictionary, even the two dollar dictionary you can find from popular books, popular bookstore. You can find these symbols. Okay, and then the the long sound corn corn. Uh, it's a C, uh, inverted C uh, with a, with the two uh, the two dots there. That that is the uh, what do you, what do you call it? Colon, uh, colon. Uh, the two colon dots there, and that means it's uh, the difference between con and con, con. So uh, there is a cake made from con. So you call it a con cake. Don't call it a uh, con cake. Uh, I, actually, it's a bad word, but it's not a bad word in English. It's a bad word in Bahasa Malaysia. So those who do not understand Malaysia will not understand that this bad word. But uh, just be careful because we are bilingual. We are bilingual. We speak both Bahasa Malaysia, English, Chinese. I speak Mandarin. I speak uh, what else? Uh, uh, Hokkien and Teochew and whatever dialects. There. And also Klantanese and also Nagogi or whatever. Okay, so uh, let's let's... Go we'll go to the next. I'm trying to finish this as fast as possible because I've got customers coming in all the time, you know. And I'm doing this from my office. Uh, let's see now. What is this? Cut, cut, ah, uh, cut, and the cut, huh? cut and cut, cut, cut is when you cut a piece of paper, and the uh, cut is uh, when you have a a, a fruit cart selling fruits, a uh, cart. So you you have to remember that uh, that the, the, we Malaysians would pronounce both words the same. Cut, food cart, okay. We will pronounce it the same. We will pronounce it exactly the same. I, and I really don't care if you pronounce it the same because people understand it because they understand it in the terms of context. What you're speaking in context. If you're showing them a cutter, you say, I'm going to cut this piece of paper. They don't want, they want you, they don't use a short sound. They say, I'll cut this piece of paper for you. Huh? Okay. And then I will paste it on your card, huh? your, your, your go card there. So uh, basically, there's no difference. Even the word, the word at the bottom, hit, uh, hit. And heat, no difference. Okay, very uh, the heat, very very hot today. Eh? Sun, sun, very uh, the heat, heat, heat. And uh, of course, there was another word that um, that when you remove the h, you come across this word. What was it? It, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It and eat. Okay, <laughs> I was talking about this. You want to eat the goat? Uh? You want to eat the goat? Uh? You want to eat the goat? Is a uh, you call it it lah? Uh? You want to eat it? You want to eat? That goat, you want to eat it. Do you want to eat it? Okay, so there is no difference. If I, if, if it's local, pronouncing the, the word, you want to eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Same thing. They, they will pronounce it the same. 
Okay, but the real pronunciation is do you want to eat it? You get it? Eat it. Okay, and again, pot and port. Okay, uh, I, I, I went to Port Swettenham, I went to Port Dixon, and I bought a pot, a cooking pot. So you must know the difference between port, okay, port long sound. The long sound actually for port is that the C, they, it's all the, the symbols, they use the letters, but they kind of like, like turn it the other way around and all that, because they want to use the same letters, they, they don't want to go and read, really, I mean, there are other phonetic symbols for other languages. I studied Greek, I studied uh, Aramaic, uh, they, they have all their sets of symbols for that. It's not symbols, it's just letters, uh, but they, what they do is they take the letters and they, they invert it, they turn it the other way around so that it, 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 it will have a different pronunciation for all of it. So, uh, pot and port, okay, uh, I purposely extended the word i lengthened the long sounds so that you would know the difference but in real life if i speak to you tomorrow you come and see me i will use the same <laughs> short and vowel sounds i wouldn't use i am I'm, I'm not going to be but if you notice that if i i'm speaking even off the cuff okay i i would you you'll be able to differentiate between the the long and short vowel sounds as far as i'm concerned so this this word i love you with all my heart that means uh he, the guy owns a hut and uh, he he loves that the lady he loves the lady with all his heart so that means he's going to give her his heart but she would rather he love him with all her with all her heart okay her remember it's her heart heart h-e-a-r-t which is uh the, the long heart sound father mother father mother ha the a is got that it's a normal a the normal a yeah? okay normal a with the two dots there so it's it, it shows the it's a it's a it's a long sound again and again i was talking about i was i'm, I'm a golfer yeah i putt i putt the ball when you putt always make sure that your your ball uh, at a putting green, you putt the ball and it must go at least, if it misses, it should go over the hole because if it's uh, too short, then even if you're aiming straight to the hole and you don't enter, they say you're a coward. So you do a putt and you make sure your putt, you do your putt, okay? And of course, uh, putt is a long sound and uh, uh, putting green, the putting green or the yeah, the putting green, I call it the putting green, is part of the golf course. Okay, I'm trying to uh, use it in a sentence so that you can uh, work out the difference. Okay, uh, I, I'm going to try to finish as fast as possible. Well. I, I don't want it too, too long to, to teach all this. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, later on, I'm going to go on to other sections. Because I didn't realize that people were like wanting to know what is the secret behind speaking like a British, like a British. But that is bad. So British, I'm not pronouncing the T consonant. It's a consonant sound. You got to say British. You must pronounce, you must speak proper English, receive pronunciation, not Cockney, not Welsh. Okay, don't, don't speak the dialects. Even in Malaysia, uh, don't speak the Malay uh, jangan kecek klatek jangan jangan speak the proper bahasa Malaysia that is taught to you by day one bahasa dan pustaka ok let's go to the last two sit and seat and tit and teat ok so tit you know what it is teat is at the end of the condom whatever uh, it's a long teat so that's a long sound in the meantime, I'm going to go and uh, I've got a lot of I got a lot a lot of work to do. And um, believe me, uh, going into this English is uh, I I actually never wanted to to do this. I never wanted to teach English. I uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, I want to sound like Patrick Teo. Patrick Teo, is, I heard he's he's in the hospital, the Beacon Hospital. I heard he's quite sick. I I don't know. I just I, I pray for his recovery. I'm actually uh, 
uh, fan. <laughs> I used to love watching him uh, read the news on TV Tiga and TV Three, and uh, I, I used to do plays with him <laughs> in our radio radio theatre. Uh, yeah, very nice comical. He, he walks with a limp because he's, he suffered polio when he was young. But um, very comical guy. <laughs> he would come into the studio. He'll take out the the light bulbs that show whether the studio. You know, when when the studio is in in when the studio there are the people in the studio. There's these lights, and he will remove the caps, and he will put in his eyeballs, and then he will pretend to talk like Martin. Take me to your leader. <laughs> very comical guy. But I heard he's very sick. I I I am sad. I'm really sad that I heard that he's in the Beacon Hospital and. I, I, do, I hope it's not true. I hope it is not true uh, that he is uh, suffering from a uh, uh, grave illness. Just hope not true. And if it's true, I, I, I will be, I, I really pray for him, pray that he recovers because he's one of the best uh, voiceovers in, in the country. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, this is Frank Jolly signing off. So please look down, look down there. And you, if you see my um, uh, subscribe, the word subscribe okay please press it and uh, I, I I intend to come in to do more of this to to take over these guys are all like you know the at one time the guys who can speak proper English in this country you can count by the fingers of your hand it, this, this is the exact words that Patrick Teo told me you know you can count by the fingers of your hand. So I asked why? Because he said they, they used him. 99% of the commercials were, 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 were given to him to do because he was the only one who could do it. I, I, I could do it, but I was not as good as him. But at the end of the day, even the Bahasa Malaysia TV commercials, only later on Farid uh, Amit, uh, what's it? Farid Amir. Is it Farid Amir? Farid Esmeth. Esmeth Amir came in with his Bahasa Malaysia anglicized version. Um, uh, Gaya Mutu Keunggulan. He's, he's, he made the English, in, he made the Bahasa Malaysia, he anglicized it. He anglicized it and it was, uh, and, and even uh, Patrick Teo also did his uh, Dorina Margarine Bar. He, he was, he, they, they, they did a lot to improve the Bahasa Malaysia uh, voiceovers for TV commercials, okay? So, uh, I, I just, uh, I wish I could continue their legacy in doing so, uh, since I'm outliving them, okay? So, in the meantime, remember, this is Frank Jale, wishing you, in the words of Patrick Teo, Blue skies and nice things. Nice things. Sorry, I sometimes slur, but that's because of my... I suffered a... What do you call it? Bell's palsy, but it doesn't matter. I can still uh, be understood. Okay, so look down there. You see, subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.